Five red lights. We've got to pause. It's still going, but we're out, and it's away and down towards turn one. It looks like Jump Line's got a great start utilising those soft tyres. There's a Ferrari off in the background. It looks like it's Luke, but it is a great start from Jump Line. And we've got a Williams that's gone wide. That's Harry, but he's still managing to go alongside with Foxy down towards turn two. Behind, there's looks like everyone's filing into position. And, uh, yeah, it's a great start from Jump Line. Yeah, and just further back, uh, as Meg, oh, as Meg Luppy has retired. I'm not sure what happened there. Foxy Red and Harry banged wheels, and that's what unfortunately forced Harry wide. Is now Harry's coming back at Foxy Red, and Harry gets the move done down the inside of turn six on the hairpin. So Harry back now up third place. Got a battle between Charlie and Adri, uh, and. Those two are going side by side. Almost went too hot, almost took out the Spaniard. But Charlie really trying to get past uh, Adri in the early stages of this race. And uh, he knows that he's got to make up for lost time. And the, equally, he's on the hard tyres. So he's going to have to, he's going to be spending a few of well, the opening laps. As we've lost the second McLaren, there goes spinning off into the wall. It's Warrisland that's binned it on the exit of turn 10. Uh, we've still got this battle going on now between Charlie and Sam. There's no, uh, no uh, love lost between these two and they're going to go side by side and not give each other any quarter so uh, as we've got now got a yellow in sector three jumper line and does come into the pit lane on lap nine fits the hard tires so is this a run to the end for jumper line and he's creeping <laughs> creeping creeping on the guys ahead of him he's dispatched agile lock in that last lap and he's now chasing down after burmeister and speed queen as charlie picks up three seconds and uh, that's gonna possibly hinder him later in the race and losing up to the likes of uh of Fountain who's starting to fall uh, or starting to or Foxy Red is starting to fall back from Fountain somewhat so uh, Charlie needs to get a move done here Foxy goes to the inside line to cover off the inside once again Charlie's going to have to go to the outside line Foxy cuts back tries to go once again to the outside these two trading positions uh, but it is Charlie on these new tyres that's got the advantage he's got the new tyres Foxy's going to try and come back here into turn 7 runs off onto the grass as Rasty picks up 3 seconds still side by side now he's trying to fall his way through Charlie's gonna need to get his elbows out if he is to maintain this position on those new tires and he does now on the final lap as uh, as Luke retires from the session down in 12th position uh, with well, with just a matter of meters left to go before the end of the race but unfortunately Pimmy was just outside of the, the uh, outside of the points but it is gonna be once again with uh, with just a few corners left to go and it's gonna be just excruciatingly out of reach for White Fountain who is reeling in jumper line and but it's not gonna be enough and the Finn is gonna come around the final two corners he's into the short curve now and he is gonna make it two out of two here in the IRL F1 league the racing point crosses the line and takes the victory ahead of White Fountain in second position FPL Charlie is gonna come across the line to come home in third jumper line and uh, there aren't enough superlatives you can say about him in these first two races. He's gone for the ultra-aggressive strategies tonight and he's absolutely banged.